Hello, I am Tate, the Ecovac T8. I am here to clean your home. The T8 AIVI is famous because it's the first Ecovax robot vacuum to have artificial intelligence, where it recognizes objects on the floor using its camera. The T9 has also been released, but it's not a direct replacement for the T8 AIVI. While they share a lot of the same hardware, there are a few key differences still. The AIVI is artificial intelligence vision. It's a camera that's mounted on the front here and it scans the floor for objects that commonly get the robots stuck. It references back to a huge object library for common items and it actually recognizes what they are so that it can avoid them. This helps it to avoid getting stuck on cables, and shoelaces, or anything that's left on the floor. And it also is specifically designed to help it avoid hitting dog poo. You can also view footage live from the camera on the front through the app. This allows you to drive it around the house if you're not home and check on things going on inside your house. You can also use the app to speak through the robot and say hi to the pets or tell any intruder to get out. One of the cons of the camera is that it doesn't work in the dark of course. You will need to have the lights on to have that obstacle avoidance but it can still clean using the main lidar, it just won't be quite so good at dodging things. In the real world the camera is hugely important as anyone that's owned a robot vacuum before would know. It does help avoid cables on the ground and all those little tricky things that robots typically struggle with. It still isn't really perfect, uh, but it will help and it will reduce the amount of room prep that you need to do before cleaning. The positional navigation on the robot is all done through a LiDAR, which is sitting underneath this dome on the top. It is a laser which scans the room and takes 360 degree measurements. Using these measurements, it always knows exactly where it is, so the positional navigation on it is excellent. As you can see on the T8, Ecovax have covered the LiDAR. This is actually quite a big deal because one of the most common little issues is when dust builds up inside the LiDAR and eventually the robot loses its vision. Obviously with this being covered, this won't become a problem and it's easier to clean. The navigation is super impressive. We tried it in a bunch of different locations and it never had any issues. It created its own map first try and it was also super methodical and efficient. It was gentle around furniture and it obviously uses the AIVI to help it get stuck a lot less, which is super useful in the real world. The T8 is a hybrid vacuum and mop, which means that it can vacuum and mop at the same time. In the latest version, it includes two separate versions of the mop, an Osmo and an Osmo Pro. The Osmo is a standard drag around mop, but the Osmo Pro is the same system that they use on the T9. This is an oscillating mop, which means that it actually scrubs the floor as it mops. We absolutely love this feature on the T9, and it's the exact same system on the T8, so we like it just as much. The mop is a separate attachment, and when it's on, the robot will mop and vacuum everywhere it can get to. However, it will use ultrasonic sensors to avoid going on carpet, because otherwise it would make a wet mess. In practice, this means that if you have the mop attached, you'll have to carry the robot between hard floor areas if they're separated by carpet. One advantage of the T8 over the T9 is that it does come with reusable mopping pads as opposed to just disposable ones. This means that you can take it off and wash it and keep using the same one for about 50 cleans before you'd have to replace it. From the bottom, the T8 looks exactly the same as the T9. It uses a combination of a rubber and a bristled brush for the main brush. It does a really good job at cleaning and it's nice and quiet, but it does tangle quite a lot of hair around it. This means that you'll have to routinely clean it off, but it's nice and easy to do so. There are two counter-rotating side brushes on the front, which help it get nice and close to corners and get debris that would otherwise be missed. It has a sprung wheel system, which helps it to keep the wheels on the ground if the robot has to lift itself up and get over any obstacles. It has a caster wheel on the front, and it also has six drop sensors, which help it to detect stairs or any fall that would be big enough to hurt it. And of course it has a bumper on the front, just in case it does bump up against anything. It's nice and gentle so it won't leave any scratches or remove paint. Under the hood we have a dustbin, and we also have a little tool here which is useful for clearing hair off the brush. It's simple to empty the bin, you just unclip it, carry it to the bin, and then you put it back in. There is also an auto empty station available. It is sold separately, but if you have it, it means that you won't have to empty the dustbin manually very often. Essentially the robot when it goes back to charge will empty the dustbin into the charging station and you'll only have to empty it once every 30 or so cleans. If you have one of these auto empty stations the robot will empty itself every single time that it charges. 
However, because it doesn't have a dustbin sensor, it won't detect when it's full. So if you have a large home and you have lots of pets or dust, you may find that you need to break the home down in the app so that it goes home to charge midway through a clean. If it does fill up and doesn't empty itself in time, it can hard pack in that hair and dust. And when it does get back to the station, it can struggle to empty it. So it's important to keep on top of it. And if you need to, just split your house up into multiple different areas. The suction numbers are a little bit lower than what I expected, especially compared with the T9, but I didn't really find any difference in real use, even on the tests or in the home. Mopping wise, we found that the Osmo Pro, which is the oscillating mop, does an unparalleled job, just like the T9. It's super easy to connect the T8 to the app. It takes about five or 10 minutes and there's even a QR code so you don't have to find it manually. Once it's connected, you can see that Tate, the T8, is online and I have the option of starting a cleaning or sending him back to charge. As you can see, when I open the smart cleaning screen, I am greeted with a floor plan. The robot automatically creates this floor plan on its first clean. You send it out to clean on an auto clean and it will build up the floor plan by exploring and scanning this object surrounding it. The floor plan, because it's using LiDAR, is super accurate, down to the centimetre. This floor plan allows you to add virtual barriers through the app. To add a virtual barrier, I simply select the type I want, and then I drag it and select it and surround where I don't want the robot to go. The robot won't cross the red line. You also have the option to label areas. By clicking on it, you can call this one here the kitchen, and this one here could be the lounge. Once you've done that, you can set up cleaning sequences. So you can set it so that it will clean the kitchen first or it will clean the lounge next. Obviously in a house with more rooms, this means that you can set the specific order that the robot will move around the house. This is really useful because once you've named the rooms, you can select exactly how you want the robot to clean. You can make it so that it will clean more deeply in certain areas and clean it twice even. But you can also schedule specific rooms for specific times so that it fits in with how your house actually works. You also have the option to change the cleaning level on a global scale around the house. You can change the vacuum power to be standard, max, or quiet. You can also change the water flow rate so that the mop will stay more wet if there's anything that's particularly sticky or tricky to, to remove. There are a whole lot of other settings that you can change as well. You can disable or enable the auto boost suction. This means that when the robot detects that it's gone onto carpet, it will automatically increase the suction power. Obviously you can turn on or off the auto empty as well. You can set up a schedule. You can set up continuous cleaning. This just means that once the robot has mapped the house, once it goes back to charge, if it needs to midway through a clean, it can return to where it left off and finish the house. You can also turn on do not disturb mode. And this just means that the robot won't make any noise between the set hours. Under the additional settings screen, you can see the cleaning log. This just shows you the cleaning history of each clean and shows exactly where the robot went on each one. You have how much life is left in each consumable accessory. You have a voice report, or you can rename the robot. There's also a video manager section. So as you can see, once you're in the video manager, you have a remote control. So you can press these buttons and drive it around the home to look at anything of interest. You can also send it to specific spots on the map just by clicking on the map and the robot will go there. Have a look around. You can take any photos by clicking on this. You can even speak through the robot. You can record a message by tapping on the microphone button here and the robot will say in live real time what you've said in the microphone. When you're not at home, you can also schedule a patrol so it'll look around the house. No data or images are stored and the video feed is secure. And there are physical privacy covers included in the box to cover the camera if you want. As always, we put this robot through our standardized cleaning test to see how it stacks up against its fellow Robovax. The T8 more than held its own in the premium category. On our deep pile carpet test, we scattered 40 grams of seeds across the carpet and the T8 collected 97% of the seeds. To see how it handles larger debris, we then measured out 20 grams of Fruit Loops and the T8 picked up 18 of the 20 grams, giving it a score of 90% on this test. If you look closely, you can see a couple of Fruit Loops which it missed at the top of the testing station. Although our long hair test is quite unrealistic, we do need to put quite a bit of hair out so we can see how the T8 handles it. It was incredible how the T8 performed. On this test, we gave it a score of 100%. It's important to note though, that since the T8 uses a bristle rain brush, quite often the hair will roll around the brush once it's been picked up. It's easy to cut though, and Ecovax even supply a cutting tool. Turning to the hard floor test, the T8 AIVI picked up 85% of the coffee. 
The dual side brushes seemed to flick a lot of the coffee around, which made it hard to collect 100% on one pass. The T8 also picked up 90% of the Fruit Loops we scattered. The weight of the robot crushed a few of these Fruit Loops. It missed a couple of Fruit Loops in the top left of the testing station. Turning to the mopping test, we were interested in the Osmo mopping technology. You can see the scrubbing action of the mopping attachment as it passes the liquids. The mop handled the grape juice without any issues, so we gave it 100% for that test. More importantly, the Osmo Pro was extremely impressive, because the syrup is obviously a lot stickier and harder to deal with, but the T8 scrubbed the majority of the syrup off. We say majority because there was a slight residue of stickiness, although you can't see it on your screen, which led to an 85% result. In the real world, we would give this another pass and the floor would be 100% mopped. On its quietest mode, the T8 runs at 60 decibels, which is about 10 decibels quieter than the standard vacuum cleaner. On the max mode, the T8 can reach 66 decibels, which is still significantly quieter than standard vacuum cleaners. To put that in context, it would probably sound about half as loud as a traditional vacuum cleaner. As we said earlier, the AIVI does significantly reduce the amount of times that the robot will get stuck, but it still did touch the cable and the dog ball, although it did move around it once it realized it was there. The Ecovax D-Bot T8 AIVI is a premium robot vacuum and hybrid mop. It has a unique set of features and the performance is comparable to anything else available on the market. We recommend the T8 AIVI for those with large, perhaps multi-level homes, and it's particularly great for parents that have toys on the ground or pets that may make a mess. It will more reliably clean your house without getting stuck and it will do a great job at keeping your floors clean. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, leave a comment and we'll get back to you. Otherwise, we have lots of other cool content coming soon and we're quite a small channel, so I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe.